Hi, in this video I have the Prattly Powder Bond and on the right hand side I have the Q Bond. In this video I'm going to tell you which I find is better. Now there are many uses for the Q Bond and Powder Bond and I'm just showing you an example of where one could use them. Here is a post, it was stuck over here and over time somebody knocked it off and it broke. So one could use the Powder Bond or the Q Bond like I've done over there. So this post now is in place. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you which of these two products I prefer to use. Right, both come with two containers containing filings. Now on the Cubon side, you can see there's a light gray and then a dark gray. And on the Prattly side, we've got white filings and the darker filings, a charcoal color. Now just showing you uh, how I get the filings out. Now I just tap this like that and you can see there's the filings and I'll show you the Prattly. Now the first thing I bring to your attention is the Cubon filings are finer. They are thinner, the particulate is finer, while the Prattly one is more coarse, it's almost like it's more aerated. If I'm doing small repairs, say I just want to put a piece of plastic here, then I prefer to use the Cubon because the particulate is smaller and therefore it leaves me with a smoother finish. While if I use the Prattly, I find that it leaves me with a more coarser, rougher finish and therefore for small intricate jobs on tiny pieces of plastic, I go with the Cubon. Now earlier I was showing how I get the filings out of the container. Now notice that it's not that easy to get this out of the container. Even if I show you inside, you might find that there's some clumps in there. I'm not sure if it's coming through on the camera, but there's actually clumps in there. And why that's a problem is as follows. I find that when I'm doing my repair, I tend to go like this and what we find is it doesn't come out. Maybe the filings have clumped together and then next thing that happens. So in terms of the way you pour it, I find the Cubon option quite annoying. While the Prattly container has this nozzle and you can cut it to any size you want. And when I rotate this, just notice how the filings are very aerated. It's probably because they're a little bit bigger. And what happens is it pours very easily. I find that Prattly is more controlled in terms of how you get the filings out. Even there you can see how controlled that is. I prefer the practicality of the Prattly containers. Right, now what about the liquid, the bonding liquid? Right, so the Cubon gives you two of these little bottles, each with 10 mils, while the Prattly gives you 20 mils, so it's the same. What I find is the Prattly bottle for me is much easier to use. So if you have a look at the Prattly, even inside there, there's a pin and when you put it back on, it actually keeps the nozzle open. So if you want to use this over six months, I find the Prattly's better. And another reason why I like it is this is my problem with the Cubond. There is pretty much an unused bottle of Cubond. And if you look closely, you'll see there's the glue. It's completely solidified. If I leave it for a bit of time, it gets like gel. And when it's like gel, it becomes useless because the whole point of this is as you put a drop on the filings, it's supposed to spread into the filings. In fact, many times I find myself just using regular super glue with the Cubon because my glue has dried up. While the Prattly side does not suffer from the same problem because here is an old one and I've even left it open, completely open. Even after two months, it still has not dried out. Yes, it's not as watery, but this had the lid closed and it dried up. This is a common problem that I've had with the Cubon, while the Prattly, I don't find that same problem. Right, over here, I'm doing a little repair and I'm going to show you the Cubon. So in order to get my filings in there, I need to tap it on the lid here. I need to tap it like this. And as I said, I find it a little bit tricky. You've got to be very careful with it. But as you can see, I can't really get close to it. And there's some clumps came out. That is my pet peeve with this. And if I show you the Prattly, because of the nozzle, notice I can get much closer to the repair and look at that. So for me, it is more practical. Now when I want to put the super glue, you can see because of the length of the nozzle, I can go there and put my one drop. And then I can put one more drop of the Prattly because of the nozzle. With, when I use the Cubon, I find I have to get very close there 
and then oftentimes I get some of the filings on the nozzle here, which also happens with the Prattly, but as you can see, because the nozzle is much longer, there is a little bit of the filings on the tip of the nozzle. I can just cut that off and cut and cut and cut until I get to a position where it looks like this. So as you can see, I've ex used this extensively and I kept cutting it and cutting and cutting it, while this does not offer the same versatility. Because the nozzle is longer, I can drip more accurately over here the bottle is not in the way of my eyesight. Right, so those are some of the reasons why I use the Prattly and then the reason I use the Q-Bond is when I do finer work. I prefer the powder bond option rather than the Q-Bond. In fact, sometimes I even use the Q-Bond filings for fine work but just use the Prattly adhesive. In terms of the bonding strength, well, I have found the Q-Bond to be very good because of the finer filings. So often with the powder bond, sometimes, especially if it's a big joint, I find a crack can form quite easily. So in that way, I sometimes prefer the Q-Bond. However, because this is practically easier to use, as I said, it also doesn't dry out. I most times just use the powder bond. All right, so that's my quick review of these two products and thanks for watching and cheers.